Hey, hey, once again, here we go with our vinyl accumulation. Um, sitting here in my hallway, in front of my boxes full of stuff, got everything packed up and ready to move, so um, it's just a matter of time. Thought I'd uh, show all my recent pickups before I move so they won't get uh, lost in the shuffle, uh, and then I won't remember what I've showed and what I haven't, which I do that anyway, but even more so. So anyway, take a drink of this cold coffee, and we'll get on with it. Starting off with, uh, once again, I think all of these records were from the dollar bin, except for maybe one. Um, because, you know, I've been trying to save money to move and, you know, bills don't stop, all that stuff. So anyway, the first one I got, this one was not in the dollar bin. And I didn't care because I had to have it. Ken Nordine, son of Word Jazz. This was up on the wall at one of the record stores that we went to this past weekend. And it's like, oh my god, I've been wanting this album forever and ever and ever. Uh, if you're not familiar with Ken Nordine, it's like a uh, spoken word with uh, musical jazz arrange arrangements behind him. And this is the second in the series that I'm aware of on Dot Records. Uh, I showed a, a CD not too long ago, um, Ken Nordine Colors album, and it's just, it's absolutely great. I'd love to have all of his stuff on CD to put on my iPod, but um, the vinyl is even, you know, cooler because it's more rare, and of course... I don't know if they've reissued all this on vinyl or not. Man, I can't get that back in the sleeve. But, Ken Nordine. Look this up online, or look Ken Nordine up online. If you like spoken word, you'll love that, because it's the best stuff. Uh, I went on and on about it in one of my other videos. Um, how it, it just gives you so many emotions at one time, and this seat is very uncomfortable. <clears throat> I don't have much padding, you know. Okay, then. So we'll move on to the dollar finds. This is Starbuck, Moonlight, Feels Right. This was a one-hit wonder in the 70s. And that's a great song. I have that on a compilation. But look at the band. Aren't they just, aren't they great? Just as great? I mean, that's, that's definitely the 70s. Definitely the 70s. And then the, here's the insert. Starbuck. There's the lyrics. And I was curious to hear, you know, the rest of the album. Because for years I've just heard that one song. If the rest of the album is that good, I mean, you know, it's worth checking out for sure. And then, uh, like I said, I'm on a Glenn Campbell kick. A Satisfied Mind. This is one I listened to recently that was really bluegrassy sounding. Not, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just sort of not what I expected. Just by the looks of his shirt, I expected it to be more 60s pop but, you know, or even 70s, I guess. This is the last time I saw her, another Glenn Campbell, with the little hole cut out. Um, he does Rose Garden on here, helping me make it through the night. He ain't heavy, he's my brother. So. And then the last one, I think, and this, I think I actually have another one. A New Place in the Sun. I mean... It's funny because when I get on a kick of albums or an artist to get, I'm very lucky to find almost all the stuff I want from the dollar bins. You know, I mean, that, I don't know if you consider that luck or or what. Then I also have this one, Glenn Campbell, Gentle on My Mind. And I think this, I think I've got the, the core of the ones that I want. Um, but I'm sure I'll find some more. There's a couple back here that I haven't seen. Uh, Gentle on my mind. That's a good song. I'm not used to or not aware of these other ones. Some of them are covers. There's a Roy Orbison cover on there. This is cool to find. Samantha Fox, Touch Me. Thought this was a single, but it's actually the whole album. Uh, this has uh, Touch Me was a single, like I said, and I don't think any of these others were. But Samantha Fox. I mean, I used to have a poster of her in my bedroom when I was in high school. And yes, she had clothes on. She was wearing some ripped up jeans, if I remember right. And Alfred Hitchcock, Ghost Stories for Young People. 
It's got a little owl there on the corner. Uh, Tales of spooks, hobgoblins, and spirits huntingly introduced by the master of the unexpected. So, yeah, I mean, Alfred Hitchcock. Golden record for a dollar. Uh, this is a cool artist, Chris Montez. I have some of his. I've never seen this one. Uh, this one's called Watch What Happens. And I'm pretty sure that Chris Montez is one of Gene Simmons' favorite artists from this era. I know he's mentioned uh, mentioned him in more than one time. So, I don't, I don't recognize any songs on here, but these other two out of these other three albums on here I have. So anyway, Chris Montez. This one, I've been picking up some of these lately, Stereo Action albums. This one is Paradise Regained, the exotic music of the Pacific, Leo Adio and his orchestra. These are like really thick cardboard uh, albums. And they have the little cutout there in the front when you pull the insert out. If I can get it. You know, the little insert is the, where the pineapple was. And then there's the back. RCA Victor. So yeah, I mean, this is like my new obsession aside from <clears throat> Glenn Campbell is to find these stereo action records because they're just so cool. This one looked really good. Tragic Songs of Death and Sorrow. Notable collection of 16 authentic recordings. Uh, I listened to this one and this is really country bluegrassy, you know, which I expected. Whoops, sliding at the bottom. Because it has a uh, Cowboy, a cowboy Copas, Moon Mullican, Red Sovine, um, the Stanley Brothers, Archie Campbell does a song. Well, it's probably, it's Trouble in the A-Man Corner. That's not really a song. But yeah, some bluegrassy stuff. And the last one I'll show is uh, Larry Oral with the awesome Dutch boy haircut there. And a nice leisure suit. To go along with it and he's got a different leisure suit on here in the back and he's standing under a tree uh, it says yesterday our memories tomorrow's our dreams today is now we pass this way but once and we touch people with our memories and dreams in a fast-paced world our dreams shatter overnight hopes dissolve and leave us in an empty and meaningless world out of desperation I find Christ gives hope to the hopeless and a vision for tomorrow's it is my desire that someone can touch his song in this album and make it live. Larry Oral. So there you go. 1973. wonder where he is now. He might still be leaning against that tree. I'm not sure. We'll have to check into that. It's on Him Time Records. And it's Larry Oral. And that's the last record I got to show in this video. Sitting here in my hallway where it's quite uncomfortable. Just thought I'd give a little bit of a change of scenery before we, uh, you know, this will be one of the last videos I make before our big record haul to our new place. Literally, a haul. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out my contest rules and stuff in my 200 subs video somewhere on this channel. Keep watching and I'll keep making them and we'll see you.